always involves a choice between risk and comfort. What do you think about that? Do you believe that statement? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if, if we're not in on the statement, it's not stupid. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, if you, ain't, if you ain't in on the statement, it's like, why well, don't I have an answer to this? I don't even believe it. But there's always a decision between risk and comfort. Remember, I remember doing that with our children. When they started growing up, I mean, when they were little small, you give them baby toys, right? It comes an age where it's time to take away the baby toys. It's time to graduate. <laughs> Real totally thought. Mm -hmm. you and and you, we need to go on. We need to go on. This means to be a follower of Jesus. That's a strong word. You must. Blank comfort is the only value of your life. You must what? Reject. You can reject, you can give up, abandon. But it's my friend. But comfort's my friend. It's my old buddy, man. I always go back to that thing. I don't want to give up my fears. I don't want to give up my doubts. I don't want to give up my. Right? I don't want to give up my... Like Linus giving up the security blanket. Renounce? Yeah. All those things. I would just ask us, to, are we willing to move on with Jesus? Because you know, when he, after rising from the dead, it was not Jesus the reason. It wasn't Jesus is the reason that we know that he rose from the grave. It was his followers. His followers took the ball and took the gospel to the ends of the earth. And that's you and I. We're one generation from absolute revival. And you're this generation that can make a revival happen and people come to know Jesus. But we're only one generation absolute chaos and godlessness. Isn't that right? Some people would say he's already here. But God's still here, isn't he? He's Terry, right? Depends where you're at. And God's even in Washington, D.C. Did you know that? He's alive there. He's doing marvelous things there. What you got to do? I mean, you go to the internet and say, what, what does God do? You'll come up. Google will have something. Google will have something. Google will have something. I already know that. What's God doing? How many want to grow spiritually? I mean, it's not here. We're a nice little, nice little comfortable place. Now yeah, I want to grow spiritually, but you know, it only happens to go out that door. That means taking this out and saying, okay. Let's let's believe. Let's let's move forward in faith, believing, because Jesus says, "I'll have a blessed life." We love unstoppable because he, the the doors, the fear, it didn't stop it. He broke right through. The Lord, break into our lives. Make this life to us. Thank you for these early disciples who stumbled the ball. They didn't even, they didn't even, it's hard for them to follow you, fathom anything. Lord, you chose them. And you're choosing us. And you're entrusting us to walk your walk. Inspire us. Holy Spirit, breathe on us as you breathed on those early disciples. Breathe on us the Holy Spirit. Say, receive the Holy Spirit. And we would follow in your steps and take this wonderful gospel <coughs> grace to the hands of